Hey cutie patooties and welcome back to cutie nails where everything we do here is all about nails. So cutie patooties, I don't know what's going on with my phone but I'm absolutely not liking the way my lighting has been lately so please forgive me for that. But you guys, I am opening my birthday box from Lucette's Gel Nails. My husband went online and bought me the big bundle that I wanted. I was so excited about this box. Um, but in this kit, I received both of her brushes, which is a size four and a size six gel brush. I also received her super shiny no wipe top coat. I received the matte no wipe top coat, the dehydrator, and the rubber base. Let me tell y'all about this rubber base, y'all. But I'm gonna do that in a minute. These tips right here, I love these tips. For my cuties out there whose nail beds are bigger, then most people, you're gonna love this because instead of me using a zero on my thumb like I normally would with tips, I use a size three. So the two, the one, and the zero were like way too big for my thumb. So with that in mind, y'all are gonna love her nail tips. Now I'm loving the consistency of her gels. I got the clear, the milky white, true nude, the perfect peach, and the simply pink. I love that there is a great like self-leveling property in it and the colors are just so so gorgeous for this set i wanted to use this perfect peach but when i saw that simply pink i fell in love now i think from here on out i am a rubber base coat fan i'm probably not gonna go back to any other types of base coat because this right here, it was just right on point. It's super thick. I really, really love how it went on my nails, how it coated the nails. I just love the consistency of it. So I'll probably use all the base coats that I have on my practice hand and just keep the rubber base coat for when I do my nails. Even though this is gonna be the pop-off method, I'm just gonna continue to use this rubber base coat for my own nails. So after saturating all of my nails, I'm gonna cure it for a full 60 seconds. Then I'm gonna apply my SXC nail foil glue to my nails, cure that for another 60 seconds. And then I'm gonna use this same rubber base to adhere my tips that I pre-sized to my nails. And I'm gonna add another layer of that base coat onto the top of the um the nail and the tip to kind of flush it out make it all even because i'm i didn't do too much filing with this because it is the pop-off method and i did not want to lose any nails <laughs> prior to getting ready to do the set so cuties i'm gonna let y'all watch for a bit then i'm gonna pop back in and we will get to doing this set
So cuties, I knew I wanted to try the ballerina look. It's almost like the, oh my goodness, y'all, I'm forgetting myself. It's, I'm just taking off the very tip of it. It's not going to be so much stiletto or so much, um, oh my gosh, y'all know the nail shape I'm thinking of. But it's more on the ballerina side because it's, it's thinner towards the tip, but it's not a stiletto and it's not a coffin, coffin. Y'all, my brain these days. But I'm just lightly filing the sides for any excess that kind of got over to the sides of my nails. And I'm going to go ahead and start applying this product. Now, it was super cold that day in my room, which means the, the gels were on the more thicker, no move side. But I worked through it. I really didn't feel like messing with it too much and trying to warm it up and all of that stuff so to lay this beautiful color i am using the size six brush i'm just adding a slip layer to my nails and i'm just doing this in layers and taking my time a little bit later in the video i'm gonna get in depth in filing because i had that question in my previous video from one of you cuties so I will go into detail with that um, just to save from making a whole video <laughs> on filing not that I don't want to but I feel like it's just been done so much so I'm gonna go more detailed into that but basically I'm just taking this in layers it may look like a lot of product to you guys but it really isn't because you can see I'm now just spreading it out towards the tip so I'm just going in layers and just filling this in to get that color depth that I'm looking for and also to build this nail up but I didn't want to build it up too thick because I knew I was going to encapsulate with clear so this is a thin layer it's not super thin but it is pretty thin and it's more so just to get the color that I'm looking for. And when I flip my finger over, I'm just letting those self-leveling properties do what it needs to do to make this one smooth nail from cuticle to free edge. And then I'm gonna just pop that in the lamp for 30 seconds so I can move on to the next nail and not spend all day <laughs> doing this process. So before I get into the next step, I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe the tacky layer 
off of all of my nails and I recently just purchased some beautiful 3D stickers that I thought it was just one pack of stickers that were flowers and that's the main reason why I bought it and then I opened up the kit and I actually saw that it was multiple so you guys are gonna get to see that in a second but you guys saw in my last video that I received this magnetic gel from Born Pretty and I thought that would be so gorgeous with this color so I'm just gonna add some to the tip and I'm gonna take my ombre brush and kind of blend that into that perfect simply pink color and then I'm gonna use the wand to get that magnetic reflection going. I'm gonna do that to all of the nails except for my second to last finger. Y'all, I always forget what the names of these fingers are. My ring finger. So I'm just gonna go ahead, get that magnetic look going. And these are all of the stickers. I really like this one because it was more like a filigree look. Then there was some butterflies and flowers, but my most favorite was the flowers, this first one here. So I'm just gonna add them to the nails and then we're gonna encapsulate everything that we did. So when I get ready to shaping and filing, I'm not gonna lose any of this stuff. Now I knew I wanted flowers on all of them so that way I could tie this look in together and not just on one. And I thought it was just simply beautiful, this look on all of the nails. It was just absolutely gorgeous. I love that this flower sticked really, really good. So I'm gonna make sure that that link to those stickers are in the description box. And now I'm gonna take this clear and I'm gonna use the size four brush and I'm gonna encapsulate. And when I say encapsulate, I'm gonna make sure that I'm building up the apex, I'm building up the thickness at the tip and everything is covered. So when I get ready to hand file this, I am not losing any of those beautiful flowers or filing into any of it at all. I kind of did file into it on my ring finger a bit and then I just left it alone and eased up because I knew I was gonna pop it off. Um, next time I'll keep in mind not to go so close to the cuticle when I'm applying the stickers. But all in all, 
this clear was super, super thick. Again, like the rest of the, um, the gels because it was really cold in my room and I was able to have enough time and spend the time that I needed with it being so cold and so thick and not worry about it running and flooding my cuticles. Um, I didn't want to like mess with warming it up with the plate warmer I have because it's not a regulated one. It's one of the ones that you put the candles on, the like, you know, little wax thingies and let it melt, you know, little old school candle warmers. So I did not want to run the risk of damaging any of my jars or damaging the products. So I will find a nice little plate warmer for my gels in the future. But for now, I'm just gonna work with it with the consistency that it's in and I'm gonna make it do what it do with these nails. But basically, I am just going in and encapsulating all of the work that I did so I don't lose anything in filing. I'm gonna flip the hand over, check to make sure that it's a smooth transition from the cuticle to the free edge and that that apex is nice and built up. And then I'm gonna cure for 30 seconds and once I'm done encapsulating all of the nails, I'm gonna do a final cure for 60 seconds. And then we're gonna talk about filing. All right, cuties, let's talk about filing. So after I remove the tacky layer from all of the nails, I'm basically going to take this file and make sure that that pink line that I see is straight, like straight, straight, straight. It's not leaning to the left or to the right. That is straight against the nail. And that's how I'm going to file. I'm going to do a little on the left, do a little on the right, turn my nail around, look at it from all angles, then I'm gonna do the free edge, then I'm gonna go over the surface of the nail, then I'm gonna go underneath both sides, go over the surface some more around that cuticle, dust off my nail, then I'm gonna take that file, I'm gonna do the same thing again to make sure that everything is nice and straight and even. And because of the speed, you may not see that I'm feeling over the surface of the nail to make sure that it's smooth, but having the file at a 90 degree angle when I'm doing those edges in the free edge is what helps me when it comes to shaping. Um, I can do this with the e-file, but because hard gel is so soft, so much more softer than acrylic, you can really get away with filing with your hand file and just touching up that cuticle very lightly with your e-file. But the key is to make sure that that file is at a 90 degree angle, super straight whenever you're filing your nails. So I'm gonna keep going so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about on the next nail, how I turn the finger around, look at it from every angle to make sure that is as straight as possible. And I am just gonna go ahead and file a little at a time on each side. And see, I'm checking that nail again. I'm going around the cuticle as lightly as I possibly can. It looks really agitated because of the speed, but you guys, I promise you, I am taking my time. Then I'm gonna go over the surface of the nail, dust it off, check it again, keep switching that finger around, looking at all angles to make sure that this nail is as straight as it can possibly be and that shape is as crisp as I can possibly get it. I hope that helps with understanding how I file to make sure that my shape is on point. This is something I had to learn over time. Um, just check, check, recheck, making sure that that file is absolutely straight. Most files come with that some kind of line in there, be it blue, pink, red, whatever color. 
and the ones that don't I do my best to make sure that that file is straight up and down in a 90 degree angle so that way I don't you know have any wonkiness in the shape so I hope again I hope that that was as helpful as I can possibly you know explain it so that way you guys understand how I'm able to get my shape the way I get the shape I mean I've heard other youtubers do this I've heard other nail techs um, talk about filing this way also so I mean just practice with it keep trying it and I hope again I was able to explain it as best as possible but before I go ahead and buff the nails I like to clean them off once more so that way I can see if there's anything I missed with filing then I go into buffing I go into dusting and I go into cleaning one more time and then it is time for some beautiful shiny no wipe top coat this is a true no wipe top coat I love the shiny consistency and you guys can see that reflective magnetic properties in that gel polish come through you guys can see how beautiful this simply pink is it's it's very much so in the nude family and i love it and those flowers are just absolutely gorgeous i'm loving this ballerina look on my nails even though i'm a coffin girl i'm loving this i love the length of the tips the kit was just absolutely just Everything I dreamed of for my birthday, Lisette has done a great job with these gels, with her product, with her packaging, the brushes, everything. I love the gold and pink touch. She has done an absolutely good job and I felt like this gold and pink set was very, very true to her packaging and how pretty and gorgeous it is i hope that i did her well because a lot of you guys know she is my gel inspiration she's who i started watching with gel nails and learning from so i hope i did her kit well i want you cuties to comment in the comment section let me know what y'all think if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please be sure to do so for more fun videos like this to watch me learn and grow because I am not a nail tech. I am just a nail enthusiast that loves doing nails. And as always, cuties, you know it. I'll most definitely talk to you in my next one. Bye.